Hello friends, this video on reproduction in organisms part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this was all about the pre-fertilization events. Now we will talk about the process of fertilization. So what all happens during the process of fertilization? So let us first understand what is fertilization. In simple words, it is nothing but fusion of the male and female gametes. So when the male, now we got to see that male and female gametes got produced by gametogenesis. They are brought together by gamete transfer. Now once they are together, they fuse. And this fusion is called fertilization. This is also known as syngamy. The word syn means together and gamy means marriage. So when something, when two things combine with each other, that is called syngamy. So the, this fertilization is also known as syngamy. So basically, as I said, what happens is there is a male gamete, there is a female gamete. So both of these gametes are haploid. Now these two gametes will fertilize together and they will form a zygote and this zygote is going to be deployed. And this zygote will then gradually develop to form the embryo and the embryo will finally form a new organism. So now the question is, where does this fertilization occur? Now, based on where fertilization occurs, they can be of two types again. So, there are possibilities that they can occur inside the body. They can also occur outside the body. So, based on that, they are of two types. The first is external fertilization. The second is internal fertilization. If the process of fertilization, that is, if the exact fusion occurs outside the body, then it is called external fertilization. And if the fusion occurs inside the body, then it is called internal fertilization. So let us try to understand both these fertilizations in detail. So first we will talk about external fertilization. Now in this what happens is fusion occurs outside the body of organism. Now gametes are released into the surrounding medium. You remember I spoke about the scenario that in during gamete transfer it is possible that both the gametes are motile. So both the gametes are capable of moving. So in that case what happens? The male gamete come, moves and comes outside the male body. Female gamete comes outside the female body body then the gametes meet together in some medium so what is that medium that one of the most common medium is water and this type of fertilization that is external fertilization is very common for aquatic organisms because water acts that medium where all the male gametes and the female gametes are released and then those male and female gametes fuse together in water this, this type of fertilization is very common in bony fishes and frogs. So the frogs and the fishes, they stay in water and they all release their gametes in water. So what happens? The male and the female gametes all are present in water. So they fuse with each other and fertilization takes place outside the body and known as external fertilization. So here a large number of gametes are released into water by both the sexes. So the advantage is that a large number of offsprings are produced because so many gametes remain uh, like spread in the water that uh, fusion keeps on taking place therefore a large number of offsprings are produced. At the same time there is a disadvantage also. The offsprings are vulnerable to predators. Now the fusion happened, a very tiny new organism is formed. But it is just lying in water. So any other organism can come and eat it. So it is not at all safe. So even though a huge number of offsprings are produced, but very few of them are able to survive because most of them are eaten by the predators. Now let us see what is internal fertilization. Here fusion will occur inside the body of female organism. So this is the next scenario where the male gamete is motile but the female gamete is non-motile. So if the female gamete is non-motile, so the female gamete will remain inside the female body. So the male gamete will travel inside the female body and there the fusion will take place. So this is called internal fertilization. So here male gamete being motile reaches the egg inside the female body. Right? Now here understand this concept that since the male gamete has to travel so much, it has to travel even inside the female body. So the chances of the male gametes getting lost 
is quite high. So large number of male gametes are produced. And the female gametes being non-motile, they will not move from their place. So they will not get lost. And that is why the number of female gametes which are produced are quite less. So the advantage of this type of fertilization over external fertilization is that here the offspring remains well protected in the initial stages because initially the zygote is formed right as soon as fusion occurs. So that zygote remains inside the female body for quite some time. So it remains well protected. So even though lesser number of um, offsprings are produced here but whatever number of offsprings are produced they remain safe. So the chances of their being eaten by predators is quite uh, less. So if you in case of human beings also internal fertilization take place and that is why you would have seen that when a woman when fusion takes place a zygote is formed and that is when a woman becomes pregnant correct and then the woman carries the baby inside her womb for nine months that means until the baby is little big it is not released out of the female body so the baby remains quite safe inside the body and once the baby is strong enough to uh, manage itself only then after nine months delivery happens and the baby is taken out of the female body so this is internal fertilization so this is how a baby remains inside the female body thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.